let's use the power of AI to help us generate the description for our products on our order form from JotForm. This way, it's going to generate description that are attractive and appealing to our clients. So let's get started right now. Welcome to Jot Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to generate the description for your products using the power of AI. For this, we're going to use ChatGPT, which you can sign up for free and start using it right away. So let's get started. This is our Jot Form. Let's get started with a new form, and we're going to find a template. Let's select an order form. Now you can use any template that you like or for any product that you like to sell. In this case, I'm going to use this pizza order form. So we want to add a nice appealing description for each one of these pieces. And we're going to use the power of AI for this. So let's use the template. And now we have the order form here. Let's go ahead and select it. Let's click on this payment settings. And we have each one of these elements. So first off, we have a Neapolitan pizza. So let's go ahead and open this. And we don't have a description for this. Let's select this. And we're going to use the power of AI for this. Like I mentioned, ChatGPT. Okay, let's jump over to ChatGPT. Here it is. And what we're going to do is tell ChatGPT what we actually need. So it provides us these descriptions for our products. Now, what you're going to see here is that on the bottom, we have a little bar. It's not actually a search bar, it's a request bar. So we're going to request it things that we're going to need. In this case, a description. So let's get started with our first request. Okay, so we've just told ChatGPT what we need. We need an attractive and appealing description for my products. My first product is a Neapolitan pizza. So let's click enter and it's going to understand what we need. So it's happy to help us and it's going to provide the description for us. Now, if the description is too long, we can go ahead and tell it to make it shorter. Or if we wanted to include the ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and ask it for it. So it's, it actually knows what type of ingredients it has. It could vary depending obviously on your personal uh, product obviously, but we could go, go ahead and ask it different type of things or ask it to add things if we need it So let's wait for the results for this one Okay, so it provided for us five descriptions that are attractive and appealing and Just by reading some of these intros. They are attractive Bite into the delicious flavors of N Naples with our authentic Napolitan pizza made with the fresh ingredients our pizza is cooked to perfection in a wood-fired oven. I mean, that could be true or not. You'd have to kind of modify it or let it know that you don't have a wood-fired oven and it will provide that description without that, okay? Experience a slice of Italy with our Neapolitan pizza. We use our finest San Marzano tomatoes, creamy mozzarella cheese, and fresh basil to create a pizza that is a, as delicious as it's beautiful. So all of these are really attractive and nice. Like I said, we'll have to tweak them a bit, just for example, different ingredients or different um, type of situations, how you cook these and you can go ahead and tell it. For example, we can go ahead and tell it that we don't have a wood fire oven, so we needed to modify these descriptions. So let's go ahead and tell it. Okay, I just told it, I don't have a wood fire oven, so fix descriptions. So again, it's gonna say no problem. Here are some updated descriptions that do not rely on wood fire ovens. So we're gonna get, again, attractive and appealing descriptions that don't include that fire oven, okay? There we go, we got, again, five descriptions that don't include the fire wood oven, okay? So you can see in this case, oven baked, so it didn't mention the firewood, so that's pretty cool, right? Now, let's grab one of the descriptions and we're gonna add it to our description here, for our Neapolitan pizza. Let's go ahead and save this. And now we have a description that's attractive and appealing and it's really nice, right? So again, let's go back and now we have a pepperoni pizza. So let's go ahead and select this. And again, let's go back into ChatGPT and now we need in a, an attractive and appealing description for this one. So let's go ahead and ask it. Okay, so now you can see I'm asking it. Now a description for a pizza pepperoni, all right? So you can see I didn't add the whole message that I added in the beginning. Why? Because I'm in this chat and it knows what it's talking about or what I need from the other chats that we've requested. So again, we'll click enter for this one and it's gonna generate the descriptions for this one now. I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry just from reading these descriptions. They do sound attractive and appealing. And I mean, the crispy crust, 
crisp, crispy crust, a tangy tomato, slice of zesty. We have those type of words that click with us. Now, be aware that we're talking about a, a food description. This can also work for other type of products. It doesn't matter which product, we just let it know what we need it for. So again, I'll just grab one of these and add it to the description. There we go. Save it. Let's go back. Now we have a Miramonte pizza. So let's go ahead and edit this and let's go ahead and ask it. And be aware, we're not telling it what what ingredients it has. It kind of knows what we need. Again, we can go ahead and tweak this. So let's go ahead and ask it. Okay, so here's the next description and it's working on it. A pizza mare e monti. I think that's how you say it. I hope I'm saying it right, but if not, at least that's how it's spelled. So again, it's going to generate for us five descriptions. Now, we didn't ask it for one, two, three, or five, or ten, but we can we can also ask it if we like. So if we want more options, we can go ahead and ask it for ten, twenty, as many descriptions as we like. Or again, if we need to tweak it a bit, like saying, you know what, uh, my pizzas are light. They're light, they're, they're I don't know, gluten-free, etc. We can go ahead and tell it. So it writes descriptions based on that. So let's actually tell it that we're gluten free. So let's see what it says. Okay, so we just told it, my pieces are gluten free. Please reflect that in the descriptions. So again, the descriptions that we're talking about for that specific pizza, it's gonna tell us. Oh, so it's actually gonna start from the beginning. So the Neapolitan pizza, and let's see if it mentions the gluten free. Here we go, all without the gluten, okay? The next one for the Neapolitan pizza, there we go, where does it say? Here we go. We use only the finest ingredients, including gluten-free dough. All right. And again, our gluten-free Neapolitan pizza is the real deal without the gluten, etc. So it's working with that specific uh, request that we've asked it. So like I said, depending on your product or your ingredients or the way that you make it, you can ask it. Okay. So let's grab one of the past ones for our Mare Monte pizza. Let's go ahead and add it here save it let's go back the next one is the pizza supreme so again the pizza supreme now a description okay here we go we changed it up a bit now a description for a pizza supreme and include the ingredients so let's try to find out see what it's going to give us for the descriptions okay so we got again five descriptions with the ingredients included now, the ingredients are kind of dull in my uh, personal perspective. I think pepperoni, sausage, bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, etc. etc. Um, let's punch it up a bit. Let's say that our heart ingredients are gourmet. So let's reflect that in the description. So let's tell it. Okay, so I'm telling it. My ingredients for the Pizza Supreme are gourmet and are gourmet. So punch it up a bit more with the ingredients. So let's click enter and see if it's going to write a better description for this. Again, so we have five delicious descriptions for the ingredients now that are included in this. And you can see it punched it up more with the ingredients. You can see here, with savory pepperoni, spicy Italian sausage, roasted red peppers, caramelized onions. What other descriptions do we have? Artisanal pepperoni, handcrafted sausage, um, roasted red peppers, caramelized onions, exotic mushrooms, what else, what else do we have? Caramelized onions and meaty, exotic mushrooms. The pizza is a feast for the senses, etc. We got really nice descriptions for this. So let's grab one of these and let's go ahead and add it. You can see how easy this is becoming. Instead of me trying to think what is the best description for my pizzas, this is actually helping me with the descriptions. Now, like I said, this will work for any type of product. We just have to tell it what it is. So. Let's grab this orange juice now. Now this is kind of different. So let's see what, how the descriptions are gonna work out. Okay, now we asked it, now a description for my orange juice, okay? So again, we're getting some descriptions for this. Oh man, this is dynamite. I mean, what is telling us for, for the descriptions are pretty awesome. Like the one I saw right here, start your day off right with a glass of our fresh squeezed, squeezed orange juice. We only use the finest quality oranges to create a juice that is both delicious and nutritious, provide a burst of energy to get you going. I mean, these descriptions are appealing, they're attractive, 
they make me want to buy it. And all this is provided by ChatGPT, the AI system. So again, let's go ahead and grab this one. Let's use it over here. Ingredients. Again, let's go ahead and save it. Let's go back and there's one more, there's lemonade. So now for the lemonade, let's go ahead and ask it. Okay, here we go. We've just asked it and it's gonna give us descriptions for the lemonade. And now we have our five descriptions for the lemonade that we have. Again, attractive and appealing descriptions. So let's grab this one. Let's go ahead and add it. Let's go ahead and save it. And here we go. Now we have the descriptions for our pizzas and our beverages right here. These descriptions are descriptions that we are going to read and it's going to make us want to buy this product. Like I said, I mean, we can start thinking about what we want to write here. Sometimes we are just too straightforward. I mean, we're gonna name the ingredients and that's about it. We're not making it appealing or attractive for someone to buy it. But in this case, AI is doing the job for us. This is a really great system that we can take advantage. Plus, ChatGPT is free and you can go ahead and sign up for job form for free also. So there you go. That is how you are going to use ChatGPT AI to generate the descriptions for our products and all that with AI. Well, we thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. We thank you all for watching and that's a wrap.